everybody turn to our hymn 248, our hymn for this moment. This is a song we're going to do for praise and worship.
call out the church to worship. Repeat after me. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye late. All ye late. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence. Come before his presence. With singing. With singing. Know ye that. Know ye that. The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us. It is he that hath made us. And not we ourselves. And not we ourselves. We are his people. We are his people. And the sheep of his pasture. And the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates. And into his gates. With thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. And into his court. And into his court. With praise. With praise. Be thankful unto him. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. His mercy. His mercy. Everlasting. Everlasting. And his truth. And his truth. Endures. Endures. To all generations. To all generations. And what do you believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered to Pontify, was crucified, dead and buried. The third day he arose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. This time we'll ask Brother Hunter to come and give us our morning prayer. Anybody that needs prayer, you may come. Time is 
been in this whole strong body down. But I just want to thank you for being my God. Thank you. Oh, God, that know all about me. And hear and ask for prayer. Yeah. And then, Father, I ask you to have mercy on that man and woman that said, There ain't no God. They don't know nothing have about us. Have them understand, Father, that talk to the Hebrew yeah. boys when they came yes, out of the fire yes, and the burning. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to Jonas when he was in the belly of the square. Yes, talk to Joshua when he went around the walls of Jericho. Yes. And the walls still down. Have to understand, you said you're God, you ain't gonna come, we're gonna come, won't you? But when we need you, say we're gonna, you're gonna be here. Yes, yeah, so, Say yeah, you're so. God that are here and answer the prayer. And you came down to part of the generation, Father, you came down to earth to save us. You didn't have to, but you did. You said, I'm going. Thank you, Jesus. We didn't, when you come down, we didn't have nowhere for you to be born. Mm. We had to play for that highway robber, that sinner, that liar, mm. that hypocrite, but we didn't have nowhere. By saving the people. And you said, that's all right. I'm not going to hold it against you. Well, so I'm going to wait for their yes, praise. Yes, so yes. 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 Father, yes. we're calling on you this morning, Father. Yes. Yes. We need you in our cities, we need you in our homes, we need yes. you in our church, and our yes. school, we need you everywhere we go. Yes, Lord. Father, you know we can't do nothing. Yes. Yes. Father, we just thank you for it. We yes. ask you to have mercy on that family yes. that tell them, have them understand, Lord, that yes. family pray together, they'll stay together. Yes. Yes. Father, I ask you, don't leave us alone. Yes. And then, Father, I ask you to have mercy on the man and woman who will step out on your word. Give them the knowledge and understanding. Tell us what we need to know. Yes. Oh, Father, you know we're living in a time and it's praying time, Father. Yes. 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 Father, ask you to have us on our young service meeting. Yes. We're in foreign countries fighting wars, Father. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they're fighting, but they just fight for them. Yes. They go when they go. Yes. Yes. We just ask to bring them back to our home. Lord, I ask you, have mercy on me, Lord. And when it's time for me to pack up my hymn books and Bible, Lord, and you don't have to listen to man study war no more. Yes. Yes. Let me be yes. in hell. Live so I'll have a home yes. in the king. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen.
our scripture will be found in the Rebecca Old Testament. And we'll read a few of the following verses, starting at the first chapter. <clears throat> and it reads as follows. The burden which Rebekah the prophet did see. O Lord, how long shall I cry? And thou will not hear. Even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou will not say. Why do thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grief? For spoil and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. Therefore, the law is slack, and judgment do never go forth. For the wicked do compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgments proceed. I read Habakkuk 1 through 4. May God have a blessing to the readers and the hearers of his word. Thanks be to God.
30th and it's Missionary Sunday, please don't forget to bless our missionary job so that they can continue to be in service to others. Amen? Amen. First, and for the month of November, the first and fourth Saturdays, we will be packing our, our brown bag lunches. It's on the third Saturday is Lake Council for the district, which will meet at Dozier at 10.30 a.m. All laity are expected to be there, and all ministers and pastors will also be in a meeting. Amen? Amen. On November 6th, the first Sunday, please remember to fall back. Amen? Amen. Before you retire for the evening on Saturday, please put your clocks back one hour. Amen. On the second Saturday, November 12th, is our district stewardess love feast to be held at Dozier CME Church. Uh, as soon as I find out the time, I will let all of us know. Second Sunday, November 13th, please bring an extra offering toward the Harold Watkins Scholarship Fund. Remember that all monies go to students that are attending a higher levels of education, whether it's college, uh, four-year institute, uh, trade school, as long as they are attending a higher level of education above high school and submit an application on time, amen, amen. they receive scholarship funds for the entire four years, amen? amen. On November 20th, the third Sunday at 4 o'clock p.m., St. Luke's CME Church in Saginaw is having their annual Harvest Fest musical. They have invited our choir to come and sing to selections. Our chorister and musician will get together to see if they are, can be in attendance. They'll get in touch with all choir members. Then they'll let me know whether or not we can be on program also so that I can let their pastor, Reverend Redfern, know. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, we had a wonderful time last night at the CME Centennial Celebration. Amen. 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 Let's give God a hand clap of praise for 100 years that the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church has been in ministry in the state of Michigan. Amen. And it started with St. John CME Church in Detroit. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, some of you here may know, uh, and also greetings to our live stream family. We pray that uh, you will one day come and visit with us here in person. Amen? Amen. Are there any visitors this morning? If there are, if you would like to stand, if it's your first time visiting, give us your name. Or if you haven't been here in a while. Amen? Any visitors? Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Harvard Brown, been all the way from uh, Health Traffic, New St. John, Mission Baptist Church. Amen. Brother Brown, thank you for visiting with us today from Hamtramck. We pray that something is said, a song is sung, a prayer given, a smile is given, so or a greeting that will allow you to say, hey, I'd like to go back there again. Amen? Amen. 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 Also, uh, Rev, we have visiting with us a former pastor of Bray, Reverend Fairstein Spears. Amen. She was with us at the Centennial Celebration last night. Amen. So we praise God for her being here Amen. and for accepting an invitation to bless us in the pulpit again. Amen. Amen. So she will be bringing us words of uh, encouragement from this morning and uh, the sermon from Habakkuk, if God says so, we'll hear that next week. Amen? Amen. Amen. I don't know of any other announcements. Anything from anyone else? This kid. Tickets for the missionary. Um, yeah. Missionary.
missionary luncheon tickets Sister Carrie has. Uh, if you have not ordered them, uh, they're forty dollars each. I think it's December eleventh. December the 10th, I believe that's second Saturday. December 10th. So if you have tickets and haven't paid her yet, uh, please see Sister Carrie so she can turn in her money for the missionary lunch. And we always have a wonderful time. Amen. Amen. And we will see that starting to be announced in our November bulletin. Amen. Amen. I don't like to overload you too much. Because then we tend to forget. Amen? Amen. Amen. Brother Dale, how are you? I'm okay. Okay. Amen. You know we got your back. Okay. Amen. Amen. Just pray for the rest of them. Get home safe. Okay. Do you know when they're coming? Either tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Well, please pray for Brother Dale's wife and family. Amen. Uh, Amen. That will be returning with their brother. Uh, as he just said, either tonight or tomorrow, the same travel. Amen? Amen. Amen. At this time, we'll have our tithes and offering. If our ushers and stewards will please come forward. Amen. Good to see you, Fiona. Amen.
take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. Take it to the Lord. Just leave it there. Spirit of God is in this place. No. Yeah. And I mean this building. Right. Yeah. One that he made uh, by his own name. Yes. 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 He is certainly on the main line. Yes. 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 We don't need cell phone preaching. Right in our heart. Amen.
All we have is time. But I, I just want to um, thank God this morning. I don't have a, a whole uh, layout of uh, formality. I'm just uh, a child of the Most High God. Amen. Amen. Trying to tell everybody about somebody. All right. No, everybody. Amen. All right. And so I'm just thankful and grateful for the Bray Temple family here. God, uh, whether we know it or not, we're all related. Mm -hmm. well, well, how can that be? Uh, we all have his blood Amen. running Amen. through our veins. Amen. We didn't put blood in our bodies. Amen? Amen. Amen. We, 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 we got it. Not because we're good, Amen. but because of the grace of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. His grace, his mercy. We under that mercy seat. Yeah. Amen. I want everybody in here to pay attention. Everybody, you're in the house of the Lord. Amen. You can sit on that seat right there. Sit on the seat. You don't have to sit in her lap. Pay attention. All right. If y'all got something to say, raise your hand and let me hear. Mm -hmm. My God, children, oh, y'all love them. I love the parents. This is my sister in the Lord. And, and one of my best friends. So I love these kids. I wouldn't tell them anything wrong. But yes. when they come here, it's time out for playing. That's right. You yes. all are old enough to know better. Come on. Amen. 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 You don't cut up here like you would at school. Well. You come here to learn how to act when you go to school. Yes. It first starts at the home. Amen. Being obedient to the parents. Yes. Come God has now. blessed y'all to have good parents. Come on now. Probably give you too much. Amen. It's a disgrace how kids act out nowadays. That's right. mm -hmm. yes, Just don't make sense to me. Amen. Mine didn't, and my grandchildren know. You don't mess with grandma, not like that. I'm not a plaything. I'm not your best friend. I just had to say that because I love kids and I want these kids to grow up to be strong women in the Lord. Amen. So they'll know when they meet a young man that they ain't after just one thing. That's right. I, I've been there choosing that God didn't bless me to have. That's all Amen? Right. Because of my choice. God is good. He loves you. Mm -hmm. Yes. He didn't say we had to like you, but he said he loved us. Mm -hmm. So I just want well. to, uh, I have some scriptures here uh, once I go through this. It won't be long, but I still intend to let the Holy Spirit use me. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Shine on me.
chance. Amen. Yeah. 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 About to be in here preaching to the pew. I got to do it. Right. I got to do it. So what it is saying, uh, it sticks out of my mind. It talks about prophecy. We hear people prophesying all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and discerning of spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, prophecy is not just uh, pr 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 predicting the future. It can also mean preaching the God word with power. Yes. Prophesying. Amen? Yes. Uh, with power. Discerning of spirits mean the ability to discuss what uh, if a person who claims to speak for God is doing so or is speaking evil spirits. Well, Amen? But yeah. this is prophesying. <clears throat> yeah. You try the spirit by the spirit. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. And, and then when we think, or uh, I think our spiritual gifts is more important than someone else, oh, it's spiritual works. pride. Yeah. Right. Amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. And so, we should not look down on others who seem unimportant. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we shouldn't be jealous of others That's who right. have impressive gifts. Amen? Amen. And right. instead, we must use the gift uh, we have uh, been given and encourage others to use theirs. Yes. Right. Yeah. But we don't do that in the house of God. We, do, we put them down. That's right. you know, why did God speak to you? If he know how to speak to me, well, try the Spirit. How? By, By the Spirit. Spirit. Amen. 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 So if, if we don't do these things, the body of believers will be less effective That's right. if these spirits are not used. And the question is, do we know what our spiritual gifts are? Mm -hmm. Some of us don't know. Well, 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 I, I had a person ask me one time, what is my spiritual gift? Well, ask God. Mm -hmm. well. If he gives them, isn't that the one to ask? Amen. Praise God. So how do we know if we're not speaking, uh, if the gifts are not working? This is not where uh, my spiritual, is, is the spiritual mind is taking me. I will not uh, work just taking up space. Mm -hmm. Is what we're doing here, is it effective at Great Temple? Well, if what we're doing here, is it effective at Great Temple? Well, we, do we put our name down just to fill out a paperwork? Mm -hmm. If it is not working, we can make changes mm -hmm. and ask God to forgive us for our Ignorance, well. meaning lacking of knowledge, or unaware of what we're supposed to do. Right. Amen? Amen. And, 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 and when we do these things, it's not embarrassing because we are in the house, the worship place of God. Amen? Right. This is where we come together to unify, get unity yes. of others. I'll get to that part where... I was speaking about iron, sharp, and iron. Now, I'll get to that point. But so when we look at the Word of God, it does not go out of line. It goes out of sync with us because God is holy. Amen? Amen. Uh, Sister Carrie, uh, who did I give at 6 3 2? Come on, brother. Praise the Lord. He said, Wherefore, brother, look ye out among you. Seven years of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this visit. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Paul says this administration task will not, should not be taken lightly. There is uh, uh, the requirement uh, for men who, uh, women, who do we uh, uh, handle uh, the, 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 the funding program. Uh, this is something that the scripture tells us to do. Look at them up and choose these people. Do we do this? <laughs> it's a question. Amen. Do, do we do this? Sometimes. Do we do this? Uh, do we choose our people wisely, not because we like them, mm. but can they be responsible?
for the fight. When we do this, we bring out that gift. When we look at a mom, not because that's my friend, I've been knowing her a long time, or she looks like she can do it. When we look at a mom, because our pastors are not put up here uh, uh, as friends, not that kind of friend. Amen. I, I made that perfectly clear when I came here. Good. Don't ask me to be your friend. I'm sitting here to be your pastor. Right. Because when I take up the role of friendship, it knocks me off my block. Amen. Amen. I love you. I got that. I love you, Lord. Right. Yeah. But I can't be your friend as long as I am your pastor, brother. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't do it. Some people can. Some people can. But I, I thank God that. When I was at this church, that God, God gave me people to put in positions. And do you know those positions work? Amen. When you put them in the position that they are called to be in, Amen. it will work. Amen. Even that child sitting behind Carrie at that door ushering, she loves that. Amen. So I'm asking you all, don't go up there and just push the door open like she ain't standing there. Amen. God called Samuel when he was what? Three three or something like that. He was still on his mother's breast. Right? Right. right? But he had to wait. So when that child is standing there, you might think you're just pushing up. God, that, that child is full of the Holy Spirit already. She does Amen. not know. Amen. She's going to be somebody, bishop, president of the United States. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. He has his hands on her. So we, we have to look at her as one of the chosen ones also. Amen. My godchildren over here, they're very talented. Amen. They're big, they act crazy sometimes, but they are very <laughs> smart Amen. and talented, all of them over here. So I don't take them for granted, but when I say something to them, I honestly don't like to repeat myself. Amen. Come on now. I don't like it. All right. But I love them. But God says when we do that, then we are heaping coals of goodness and joy and love upon their head. Amen. And so what I'm saying this morning, uh, do good to those that may do evil to us. We're not put here to love, but we are here to go through with the reputation of being honest. Amen. Amen. Full of the Holy Spirit and wise people who carry heavy responsibility and work closely with others should have these qualities. Amen? Amen. Qualities, God-given qualities. So we must look for honest, spiritual, mature, and wise men and women to lead our churches. God is a holy God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are still talking about spiritual gifts, but are led by the Holy Spirit that we just put in us. When we put people in position that they don't want, they don't like, they'll do it for a few Sundays to look good. And when you know it again, well, where did they go? Did they call? Are they here? Amen? Amen. This, this is the fifth Sunday. I didn't really come to, 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 to speak because I know fifth Sunday, according to whatever that, that the, the discipline is with CMA Church, what are we supposed to be wearing? Now, we took that oath. We took the oath, didn't we? Bishop uh, 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 Paul stood but say, he will ask you, do you intend to follow the rules and regulations of the CME church? What do we say? Yes. yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God. So when we do that, uh, 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 who, who are we? Who, who are we denying the power thereof? Amen. Amen. If we're not gonna do it, don't take the oath. That's right. It's just that simple. He, he asked the question. He don't make you. He didn't make me. He said, "Brother Spears, do you intend to do that?" I Amen. said, "Yes." Do you, intend, do you intend to travel? Yes. I wasn't married at the time. But even if I was married, the man that I'm married, he know that I'm a traveling preacher. If he can't go with me, well, do you know she went up there and she left them home? Well. <coughs> Amen? Yeah. 
What the extra baggage? Isn't that what you speak about, Ma? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So yeah. I belong to God first. That's right. And then whomever I marry ought to know that they come under God. Amen. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. They not, well, she don't know it ain't that way. <coughs> But praise God, I don't want to get into all of that, but the best gift there is are more beneficial to the body of Christ. Paul has already made it clear that one gift is not superior to another gift, amen? Mm -hmm. But he urges the believers to discover how they can serve Christ's body with the gift that God has given them, amen? amen. Praise God. So remember, God gave the spiritual gift. He has given them uh, 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 over and over. Our spiritual gifts are not just for our own uh, uh, self-advancement. They are given to us for serving God and enhancing the spiritual gift of the body of believers. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter if it's one in here or two. It's still a body to God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So let us remember the gifts are prophecy. Someone to always prophesy. Do we have a discerning of spirit of person in here? It, it is. Whether you use it or not, God does not make a body, a church, without having everything he needs in it. Oh, Amen. Right. Right. Now, if you don't use it, don't say we don't have it in here. It is in here. Yes, right. But you have to know your gift yes. and you have to act on your gift. Yes. Amen. Yes. You have to act on it. So, we should, or do we sit on the gift and not say anything? That person will know if this person is speaking or, or claim to be speaking for God or is speaking from evil spirit. Amen. We know those two. We can easily pick up those. So when, when, when we're done in that way, that serves God. They edify the body of God, body of the church, when those gifts are done. Amen. Amen. Somebody in here has got to have that gift of prophesying. Mm -hmm. Someone in here have that uh, that spirit of discerning spirit. Mm -hmm. And so when they stand up and do that, well, well, I don't believe that. Ask God. Amen. He will let you know whether that person is is, is true or false. Amen. 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 So <laughs> this is just for the edify the body here. Everything we need for a healthy church. Is right here in the body. Yes. If we don't, if they're not used, believers will be less affected. The body will be less affected if they're not used. If we do not know, ask God, what is your gift? Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. And if that person is prophesying and interpreting himself wrongly, it's not of God. Amen. So a person can prophesy. They can get up there and interpret that gift. So we don't know whether it's true or false if someone else is not in here doing it. Amen. Amen. Just because it's a preacher or a pastor prophesying, you have the right to sit out here and stand up and accept <coughs> what they're saying. We have that right. God gives us that right to do that. Amen. And so when we do that, we are interpreting the generation to come. It is speaking evil and not truth if we don't carry that out. God is the only who the Holy God we know. So let us choose people that will do the work that is the first order of the church. Amen? Amen. So we do not want to continue with a sick congregation. Mm. The world needs healing yes. Yes. in the name of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Someone read uh, James 1 and 2, whomever I gave that to. James 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. Coming down to a close. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Amen. Thanks, Amen. Sister Karen. So what, what, what it's saying is we can't uh, really know the depth of our character until we see how we react under pressure. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't know the depth until we see how we react under pressure. Is it easy to be kind when everything else is going well or when everything else is going wrong? Is it easy to be kind? It, it has to be. It has to be. Uh, we can see, we can still be kind when there are 
when they are treating us unfairly, we can still be kind. It's not uh, easy to do, but then we have a pioneer. Amen? Amen. And that is God. That's the only way we're going to get from point A to point B in our mind. Amen? And so with God's help, uh, I'm trying to uh, inst in instill, uh, uh, instead of complaining about the struggle, I'm trying to see when there are opportunities that for growth that is not easy to do. Amen? For Amen. growth. For growth is not easy to do. But we can do it with the help of God and the Holy Spirit. Why? Because he is a holy God. Amen? Yes. Praise the Lord. And so now someone had 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Praise God. Did First someone? Corinthians, second chapter, ninth verse. Yes, Lord. But it's written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Amen. God. Amen. Amen. It says that love him. We, right. we, we, we don't know because eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Amen. Neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for us. If we knew, would we straighten up and act differently? Yeah. If we knew. Yeah. But because we don't know, it's a faith walk. Amen? That's right. We have to trust God in order to get to where he wants us to be. But God, God is, I still say God is holy. The world is still, hallelujah, the world is all. It is not all it is cracked up to be. Amen? It, it's all, it's not all there. Uh, uh, the, but the best is yet to come. Amen. Amen. God knows what's going on. Yes, he knows who's going to be the president of the United States. He can take Hillary, turn her upside down. Certainly he can take Trump and do the same thing. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Look at the murderers and the people that kill folks in the Bible. What did God do? He turned them around. Yeah. Who was that person on the road to Damascus going to kill off all these Christian folk? Oh, what did God do? Yeah. Oh, he struck it down on the highway. Yeah. Amen. Blinded yeah. him. Yeah. That light was so bright, it blinded yeah. him. Yeah. But he got his attention. Yes, we don't want floods to come. Yeah. Earthquakes to come. Tornadoes to come. Fires to burn. Before God come here to Michigan or come to Raleigh, North Carolina, we don't want that. We don't want to wait until it comes. When we see it, we have the power to pray against it. Yeah. We have that power. He said, you have the power to do that. Where We don't have to ask him to come down and do it. Where is he? In our heart. So we can talk to God right there. Amen. Lord, if you spared our life, I know you can spare it. We don't have to know those people. But we are the salt of the earth. Has the salt lost its savor? Hmm. Praise the Lord. Whew. Lots of time <clears throat> when I speak the truth that is not obvious to my understanding a delay is not a denial, That's all right. which I thought. But a delay is not a denial. Amen. It's just not my time. God comes at his time. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yeah. And so we, we just thank him this morning. If we refuse to fear, then we respond to fail. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Fear is reverence to God. It's not, oh, you scared me. It ain't that kind of <laughs> It's not that kind of big fear. Boom, like what's the name made that move? It's not that way. Fear is reverence to God. Did we know that? Amen. Fear is giving reverence to God. Then we respond to fail. When we, when we face uh, reverence to God, failure is out of the way. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So in this day, uh, the devil looks like he is winning. Looks like it, but he's not. Amen? God is still on the throne. Yes, Someone had yes, Proverbs yes. 27, 17. If it can be read now, praise the Lord. I'll be reading from the praise NIV God. verse. 
as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Amen. Amen. Iron sharpens iron. We, we, we know uh, what that means when we uh, have knives at home and we uh, uh, chisel each other back and forth. What are we doing? The one knife is sharpening the other knife. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So uh, it means to uh, uh, the, uh, uh, to the people who know how to attack the thought hmm. and not the thinker. Right. Amen. Right. When we learn how to attack the thought yes. and not the thinker, yes. we're yes. so hung up on someone speaking and then before they can speak, well, we already know what they're going to say. We don't know. <laughs> and when that happens, it will, it will cause uh, a bondage, baggage to yes. come yes. because yes. it dampens our spirit yes. and we're supposed to have this, the spirit of light, not darkness. Yes. I mean, even when it gets dark at night, because of the Holy Spirit within us, it should always be light. Amen? Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. So we, we thank God this morning that our, our two friends who bring uh, their ideas together can help each other become sharp when they bring them together, amen? amen. And so in this world, there, there will be toils and snares and trouble. Yeah. But yeah. I, I love this church. And um, I, I, every time I come here or talk to someone at Spirit Life, at Great Temple, excuse me, it lights my soul. Uh, in North Carolina, I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina now. And um, I've been looking for CME churches. You wouldn't believe how far apart they are. Like from here to Flint. I go, my God, do I have to go that far mm -hmm. to find a church? <laughs> and Raleigh, there's a church on every corner. My Lord. I saw a little AME church. It's about as big as the uh, pastor's office back there. Mm -hmm. And so I go, my goodness. I said, Lord, I'm not getting, I'm not getting anything. So my, my granddaughter has a friend. They go to the same school. And so she always invites Ken and my granddaughter down, down to the church, sleepovers and stuff like that, and she goes. So I told my daughter, Alicia, I said, why don't we just go down to the church and see what it's like? So we got down there, and it said, the fountain uh, of, of friendship. And I said, oh, okay, we'll go here. But for some reason, I just like crossed over Baptist church and stuff, and I was born and raised in Baptist church. But nowadays, they got, they got women. I went to the church, my sister in Alabama, the women ain't allowed to do nothing but cook. Mm. I go, my goodness. Well, we don't, we don't allow women to be. And my sister got sick. You know, she didn't tell people that, that her sister is a pastor. She got sick. <laughs> <All right. laughs> she got sick. She had bone cancer. She's, she's healed. My sister, when I went down, she was telling everybody, everybody yeah, my sister's a pastor. My sister's a preacher. She's telling it now. Why? That's because there's a need for her. Amen. There's a need for her. I didn't tell her not to don't tell her to don't tell her because I don't have to wear a, a neon light to let people know who I am. I am sufficient in my calling. Amen. 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 I don't have to sit in the pulpit, front seat. I can sit back there with mother and know who I am in Christ. Amen. Nobody can take this spirit away from me. Wherever I go, the spirit follows. Yes. So I, I thank God. But anyway, God got me real good. I said, I go, Lord, and worth it. So he had been teaching me and uh, training me with this scripture. Eyes have not seen. Iron sharp time. So I went to this church, and they had one of the most beautiful, humblest pastors. But the, but the congregation now, let me tell you, black folk get dressed up. They don't know you. <laughs> I said, uh, these, people are really, these people are really strange here. Yeah. This lady said, honey. If you ain't in no clique, you don't even matter here. I said, well, I guess I'm at the right church, but I am not in the clique, you know? So uh, I went out, I called the pastor, and I talked to him. And I said, well, I'm still not getting anything. What, what am I supposed to do? I went, my, my daughter and I went to one church there. And let me tell you, all of these churches have young preachers, young men, 30, 40, top. And so I went to one that's called Elevation Church. I went to one uh, World Overcomers Church, and I went to Bethlehem. There were so many stairs. I had a, 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 a knee, uh, um, no, not replacement, the other one. But anyway, 
uh, is where they go in there and they put the bones back together, not a place. And I had that. And so I, we went to this church. I got half up. I go, oh, this knee is going to give out. I go, you better kick in now because i got to get up to them stairs. <laughs> went to Bible study, went up to the same stairs, the door was locked, and they had a sign. But they didn't have a sign. I said, who pastors this church that when visitors come, they don't know where to go. I wasn't the only one who went up there. I said, but they still have a Bible study. They need to put a sign that says go around back and go downstairs. So this lady said, well, I hope you tell them because I've been telling them all she had that facial expression. I've been telling them all the time, they ain't put one there. So I said, okay, God better come out. I, I skipped the step. I said, I'm about to fall in the dark in the back.
Well, it's the love of God. I went to a bank there, first, first, uh, third bank, which is a bank I don't usually have. Do you know the people in there have become a family to me? Amen. Well, here she comes. How you doing? They speak. I said, they speak because they got my money in here. What? <laughs>
from him this day. Yes. May his word seed upon your heart that when you open your mouth, you can tell somebody else the good news of Jesus the Christ. May he guide your footsteps that as you travel, you can uplift someone with holy hands. Yes. Not to put them down, but to lift them up. Yeah. To give them encouragement so that they too can find the love of Jesus Christ in their lives. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen.